Hey, what's up? If you haven't upgraded to One UI 7 yet, these are all the new changes and how to access them. If you have upgraded, well, you learn a thing or two about navigating them. So I have the S24 FE here for One UI 6 and the S25 Plus for One UI 7. First off, I haven't seen anyone talk about this yet, but the default ringtone on One UI 7 has been, should I say, remixed. So this is what we all know it to be on One UI 6, right? as basic as it comes. But now on One UI 7, we have it like this. That's definitely a remix. So One UI 7 comes with more ease of access. So something like your the camera app, for example, has what you might call a new look. People say the camera app looks less cluttered. It looks same to me, although there's a little less to look at now at the top. Everything at the bottom stays the same. Now, because they've moved what's at the top to the bottom, the controls are more uh, accessible now. You don't have to reach all the way to the top to tap them. I mean, if you use an ultra, you'd understand what I'm saying. Ease of access repeats itself when you pull down the notifications panel because you notice the notification settings and the clear button are now easily accessible at the bottom. You don't have to stretch your thumb all the way at the top, right? You can just easily access them at the bottom, which makes things much, much easier. Now talking about notifications panel, the quick settings and notifications panel have been separated. So you swipe down on the left side for the notification panel and you swipe down on the right side from the top for the quick settings panel but anywhere on the screen when you swipe down it pulls down the notifications panel even if you're on the right side it doesn't pull out the quick settings panel put that out of loved if they did it this way that instead of us having to stretch our thumbs all the way up to the top of the screen to pull down the notification uh, the quick settings panel on the right side right we could do that even from the bottom as long as we're on the right side of the screen now if i need to access quick settings i have to go to the top and swipe down i can't just do it even from here because anywhere other than the top, I'm swiping down to get the notifications panel instead of the quick settings. Now, if you have either of them open notifications panel or quick settings, you can just swipe left or right anywhere on the screen and you just scroll through either of them. Samsung does give us the opportunity and the option to switch between this new style of separating the quick settings and the notifications panel to the old style that we know of both of them combined in just one. So we pulled out the quick settings panel, tap the pencil, tap panel settings and separate is for one ui 7 style and together is the old one ui 6 style charging animation has also changed so when the phone is unlocked this is what you get on both phones now on one ui 7 it doesn't take up the whole screen you know in your face like before on the lock screen this is how it looks like on both phones we've also got new icons as well new battery icon calculator icon camera calendar and you can also swipe vertically in the app drawer instead of you know multiple horizontal pages like one ui 6 here too samsung allows us to choose between this new vertical style or the old if you still want to stick to the <laughs> horizontal app drawer you know app pages you can still do that so you just tap the three dots here tap sort and alphabetical is for the vertical new one ui style and custom is for the old one ui 6 you know horizontal pages now there's a new thing called the now bar which provides you know access quick access actually to ongoing activities like timers recording stopwatch music playback and all that there's one feature of one ui 7 that i'll say boosts productivity because you know it allows access and control of all these without even having to unlock your device you can also customize widgets too with a lot more options now in the widget section and finally we have call transcript for you know the countries that it's available in so i mean it's not available to all galaxy users it's kind of restricted as per your region but um with the help of galaxy ai you'll be able to transcribe and summarize calls so these are what i feel are the necessary updates to one ui 7 let me know how it's been working out for you so far if you have upgraded but if you haven't gotten the update yet you will definitely get that i mean i haven't gotten it on my s23 ultra yet but it will definitely come in this is our region of ours it kind of takes a little bit of time but you know whether rain or shine it will definitely come eventually although time no day right but i'll see you on the next one you're welcome <laughs>